All right, well, we come in for a small load of firewood, so we thought we would, I thought I would pull the drag in. Heather Snowmobile is capable of pulling that sleigh, just not up our large hill. <laughs> she got stuck the last time coming up the large yeah. hill with that sleigh. But that's fairly heavy once you get it loaded full of wood and heather. It's not heavy enough to push the back of the snowmobile down. But uh, this trail is getting hard. Like I, I'm not sinking here, but if I step off to the side here, I'm going up a fair bit. But it's packing this trail. The more we drag this, the harder it'll get. I picked up another Alpine too uh, the other day, by the way, folks. It's an older version. It's just got the it's got the 640. It's just got forward and reverse. There's no low range, but I pulled this Dragon here in just high range, um, and the other one's a larger engine, so we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. The price was right. I got it for a few hundred bucks, which is pretty pretty cheap, I think, and uh, it doesn't take much. Doesn't look like it's gonna take much to get it running. So we're gonna we're gonna drag this trail down into here, and we'll be back. All right, well, we uh, dragged it down through there. So now we're gonna head on through our other trail here. We're gonna drag that as well. We just got back. Takes us about, oh, five minutes down in there. It's not too long. And it's got a little putt putt running. So I will head on up through here. There's not much snow on this trail, but I just want to give it a good dragging anyways. Or to get more.
right, folks. So, hope you can hear me. I accidentally left the cord for my microphone at home. <laughs> Didn't realize that until just now. It's a beautiful day in here, folks. Just beautiful. Anyways, we're gonna head home. We're gonna go around because I don't want Heather not being able to get up that hill. <laughs> well, this, is, this load isn't as big, so I might not have a problem, but. Oh. <laughs> You're like, yeah, okay. I am tired of pulling snowmobiles. <laughs> no, we're gonna go the other way. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I changed my mind. We're gonna go out our normal way up the hill. We'll see if Gutsy can make it up over the hill with that sleigh. Um, once I get to the top of the hill, I'll let you go around me, okay? okay? And don't be shy. Like last time I pulled her up over the hill, she, I pulled her snowmobile plus the sleigh and her on it up over the hill with this, so. Your beast, like I said, probably wouldn't pull the hat off my head if I had a 50 foot downhill start. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what it's nice to have the second machine in here in case heaven forbid the white snow beast decides to go for a, a snow nap in here and we end up having to walk out at least that thing it might pull the both of us <laughs> no it would pull yeah, the both of us yeah. on this hard like this trail so hard we could walk out yeah. and that's the reason I pull this drag in here too each time I like to break this trail I like to get it smooth because we walk in it the only thing is we do get the odd person coming in here um, checking out our trails, but it's no big deal. I don't mind that so much, but yeah, you never know who's gonna be in here on our trails. So, whatever. So, uh, I, I don't mind so much. Anyways, we'll see. I'll let you get a view on what it's like when Heather goes um, slogging it up that hill. But you should pull, there's a two, four, six blocks in there. There's not, the, the, oh. when I got stuck on the hill, it was really full. Like it was we'll go with rounded. That. Yeah, okay. It was. But they were light blocks, these aren't. Okay. Now, oh sorry, six blocks in my plastic tripod. I might have to remove the tripod. <laughs> I'll do this. Yeah, do that, yeah. Okay. Breathe in quick. <laughs> <laughs> Draw the air in towards you. Help you pull yourself up over the hill. I think it'll do it. Just, just don't be shy. Last time I think you were being careful. No. <laughs> no, I wasn't. It was literally full throttle. Oh, good grief. Okay, well, yeah. full throttle down the hill or just when you hit the bridge? Go full throttle down the hill. No, I, I was, yeah. <laughs> You're looking at me like, oops. No, no I was. Oh, yeah? I oh, was. When, no. you said, when you said hit the hill, go fast, I did. So you're doing the full 15 mile an hour on that yeah. thing? <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> okay, well, hey, it's, I'm, I it's dangerous. You know I enjoy that. it. I enjoy it. It's fun. I like teasing you about that snowmobile. I mean, I had one when I was younger. I had the single cylinder. I had the, I had the two, that's the 250 single. I had the 250 twin. I had the 294 SS twin, the Elan. I also had the 300 SS. I mean, they were okay in their day. They were pretty good little units and they're still pretty good. It'll go just about anywhere in here. No problem at all but not pulling that sleigh. If you get off the trail right now, I'll be pulling you out. I'm sure of it. With that, oh yeah. Yeah, but alone though, like you could go anywhere in here. Yeah. It'll zip around and yeah. Yeah. what I like is it's no wider than my machine. See, my, my double track, it's only 33 inches wide. See how narrow that is? People think these double tracks, some people think they're really wide. They're not. You only have 15 inches track and then you have a two inch in the center. So 15 plus 15, that's 30, plus two inch in the center. So that's 32 plus a half inch on either side. That's 33 inches wide. That's the widest part. Well, I mean, except that bumper there, you're looking at another, say, another half inch more than, than the sides. So you're looking at uh, 34 inches wide at the most. That's about the width of that. So that suits us. Well, let's go, Heather. I'll let you go ahead of me. Yeah, I was gonna say, so I'm going ahead, right? Yeah, but don't, I'll give you lots of room so you can get around me so you're not, so you're not, uh, but if you do get stuck, pick up my package in China for me, okay? <laughs> Cause that's where that's gonna go. It's gonna sink right out of sight. <laughs> okay. Fire that beast up. Uh, try it now, 
just give her. Just go ahead, just give her. Pass me. Go ahead. Watch this. Go fast, go fast. Look at that, eh? Look at that. Was there a trail there? No? No, she uh she broke trail there. She did good. Yep, yep. Well let's see how she does here. I got this thing in low range. I'm gonna go high range. Oh, oh. We're getting neutral, it's gonna hurt. There.
Alrighty, so that's how it drags that trail. That drags pretty nice. So by morning that will be just like pavement. So we're gonna see how Heather does on the hill. If you could stay off the spot where I drag, where I drag that would be great, babe. I'm gonna watch here and you'll make it. This seems light enough. You. There's only six blocks, so... No, I'm confident in that. Like, yeah, you even went around there, you're in the, what I'd call deep snow, but it's not that, it's like 16, 18 inches deep. I think you'll make it up the hill, no problem. Okay. It doesn't look it, but the hill's still fairly steep. steep. No problem at all. Oh yeah, it's like nothing. Yeah, she slowed down, so she's up the hill. Beauty. Now, I will fire up this old beast. Now I'll head up myself. Sorry about the microphone. Like I said, I forgot the cord. The other cord was faulty. So I took it off. I plan on getting another cord and I have one in the car. I just haven't put it on yet. Alrighty, we'll let Heather pull down there and try to get as close as she can to the door. There's the other one I picked up. Two, the two tracks look like they're brand new on it. Look at this here. It looked like they're brand new, both of them. So a lot of good parts on it. I mean, it doesn't have the low range and it's got the big old 640 on it, but I mean, the tracks look like they're new, so I'm happy with that. Anyways, we're going to let Heather get this down. Okay, babe, let's see how you can do down in there. Do you want me to do it or are you going to? Do you want me to go through the deep snow or? I think you'll be able to make it. Okay. Get it as close to that basement as you can, okay? Yes, I, I, I realized I overshot. I couldn't see, I didn't realize that. Path. Make a new trail. Huh? Make a new trail, lean hard and go. You don't have to give her too hard, I don't think. Turns on a dime. Going downhill, you shouldn't get stuck. <laughs> but. Good! Perfect! Just like nothing, right? Yep, yeah, it actually did pretty good. Yeah, it did. Did really, it did really good. Our trail's good, so, um. I started clearing out this today, but I have to fix one of the chains on my garden tractor, which I will do shortly. Tomorrow, not today. I'm gonna get that cord before I forget, folks. I have a cord right here in the car. I'm hoping it'll work. So I'm gonna hook this up into the back of the speaker here, just bear with me. Push this against there. Push that in. Open this up here. And I'm pretty sure that this should make 
a difference. How's that? I sure hope that works. Here, somebody's out on a snowmobile just to give in her. Not sure who it is. Maybe my brothers. I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Yeah. Some young guys, I guess, out playing around. A lot louder than mine, anyways. <laughs> well, anyways, folks, sorry about that microphone. I sure hope it's working good now. Um, we're going to get back at that very shortly at the pole building, probably tomorrow or the next day. Um, yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna mill that. So we got our other six by six milled. I have to mill those two, those three we brought out, and then we're gonna get, we're gonna get that done. So, anyways, folks, quick little video I wanted to share with you what we enjoy doing. We just love in there playing. Um, <laughs> I like. Uh, we love our snowmobiles in the winter. It's one of our favorite times of the year is in the winter. I love it. Yeah, so I got this other Alpine body here too. I have really everything to put this together, this one. But the problem is it's only got the, the forward and reverse. I need a transmission that does the high and low range. This don't have it, neither does the other one I picked up. But um, a lot of good parts for mine. If I need them, the only thing that won't work is the transmission. I could use the engine off of it, I had to, but my engine is a 503, and that is the 640 model. It's the big old one, and uh, they're hungry. They like their fuel. This one here is a 1975. I ran the numbers online, 1975, and the license plate, in fact, is a 1975. So, yeah, it matches. But they have the, oh, that's been bent for sure, eh? But they get bent pretty easy sometimes. Some people bang them and whatnot, but not a big deal. Oh, oh, here comes Heather. She's starting to get used to that again. She'll come up around, she'll lean lots here. Look at that, turns on a dime, those little guys. What do you say, we want to get something hot to drink? Sounds good. It's starting to get late. Sun's starting to go down a bit. You like that better than the Long Track Bravo, don't you? I love this thing. Yeah, Long Even Track. Even though it doesn't... Um... It's not powerful? Yeah. But that's okay, though. It's... It's, it, it's me. It's slow. It, well, it does what we need. <laughs> I mean, that's, all, that's all it has to do, right? I mean, you can lift it, you can start it. It follows me anywhere in the bush. It pulls this little sight. I mean, not right, but if that trail was trail was hard, I think what happened that day though was you hit some ice. No, you spun down, didn't you? I spun down. So you hit that rut. There's that soft rut. Yeah. That's what happened. You spin down, then your running boards get you caught. Once those running boards hang up, you're not going nowhere. See, mine don't have running boards like that, so mine will spin right down. It'll just keep going. It doesn't matter. Yours. It does. <laughs> Anyways, let's grab the tripod and let's get inside. So anyways, you folks, you take care. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Sorry about the microphone again, and uh, I hope it's working now. Anyways, uh, you take care and we'll talk to you another time. Hope you folks had a great Christmas. Have a nice day at home and, and I was recuperating and uh, it was a nice rest. But uh, Heather and I is gonna get right back at this pole barn, yeah, probably so tomorrow. Happy holidays for everybody. And yes. Happy holidays. Um, hope everything went well. Yeah, yeah, hope. Yeah, hope everybody was safe, happy, healthy, warm, or yes. cool, whatever the case may whatever be. They, whatever you're most comfortable at. Yeah. So very shortly, you're probably gonna, you're probably going to see me get that big old beast going. That's not, that's not the snow beast though. It's a basically the same as this, but that's the white version. That's the military version. And so is the one in the building as the military version. There's not a whole lot of difference between the two. Like that is a newer one there than this. So that's a that's a 75. 
And this one here is in 84, 1984. So they built these a long time. And let me tell you, they are beasts in the bush. Like I pull that, I pull that anywhere in there in high range. Coming up the hill there, I just took my time. I could have stopped anywhere up the hill and took off again. Doesn't doesn't matter, but you have to get the hitch up high. You have to get you have to build a hitch plate like that for them to really pull. Just like that. You want to get that plate up high. And I put these gussets in the corners at the back here. I put these gussets in right there. I built that plate because it used to hook way down there. And uh, sometimes on the slides like this, it actually tries to lift your machine when you start to go. The back of the machine lifts up where when you get it hooked up high like that, it won't do that. Anyways, love these old Alpines. Okay, well, you folks, uh, hope you have a great day and uh, hope to see you back here again very shortly. Bye bye all.